The Belroy Light Sling is part of Belroy's new lineup of light, durable bags. My name is Peter Oluwalia and I'm all about travel tech and adventure. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of all of my newest videos. With that out of the way, let's get into the Belroy Light Sling. So as I was saying before, this bag is part of Belroy's new lineup of light bags. They have the light sling, the light day pack, the light tote, as well as the light duffel. All of these bags are made from a 100% recycled material and they are both durable and super packable. What's great about these bags is that they're really thin and really light and you can sort of fold them in half and just tuck them away into any spot you have in your luggage. Let's start off by taking a look at the outside of the bag. So as I was saying before, it is made out of a 100% recycled material. In fact, it's actually made out of recycled plastic bottles. I think that is super awesome because anything that we can do to help prevent climate change is a plus in my books. The material is really nice. It feels really great. I was a little bit worried that because it's made out of this ripstop fabric, that it would not have as clean and as nice of a look to it as Bellroy's regular slings. But I have to say, especially in this black, it looks super sleek. The bag is weather resistant to an extent. Uh, small water droplets do tend to just bead right off, but if it does get soaked, it will soak through. It's not a waterproof bag. Taking a look at the strap, it is super nice. It's nice and thick and wide. It feels really comfortable to wear for longer periods of time. It also features Bellroy's magnetic clasp system right here. I really like this. It makes it super easy to take the bag off and on and it clicks right in place, feels super secure. I have a Bellroy Sling Mini that I use as a daily carry and the clasp is super, super sturdy and it feels really nice. The bag also features Bellroy's signature compression technology. As you can see right here, right now the bag is quite empty, so it is quite small. However, as you fill the bag up, it does sort of expand a little bit on the sides. What I like about this is that when you don't have very much stuff in it, it has a nice sleek, slim look. And as you fill it up, it sort of expands a little bit to fit all your needs. There is a little bit of padding in the bag, mostly just around the bottom of the bag itself. The back is not as well padded as the regular slings are. That's to help keep it nice and light as well as packable. The regular sling can't really be folded up and packed away, this one can. Now, one interesting difference that I noticed about this sling is that the location of the clasp, the magnetic clasp, is on the opposite side of the sling from the sling mini. I don't actually know how it compares to the regular sling because I don't have that one but it's just something to note as it might change which side you wanna wear your bag on because I like to have the clasp in a nice simple location where I can easily take it off. And I find if I sling it over my right shoulder, then the clasp is in kind of a weird spot. So just something to be aware of. All right, let's take a look at the inside of the bag now. So as you can see, there are two compartments. There is one quick access compartment right here as well as a double zipper main compartment up here. Now that double zipper design is really cool, but we'll get into that in just a second. Let's take a look at this quick access pocket first. So inside of this quick access pocket, you can see that there are two small drop pockets right here. This is great for things like your AirPods, hand sanitizer, maybe some SD cards, those sorts of things, as it helps those small items stay separate from whatever else is in your bag. There is also a small key holder right here. I never really use these things. I don't really, I don't know, I don't really like them. Uh, and then there's ample space up front as well, so you could totally fit in like your phone and even a wallet. What I really like is that this quick access pocket is definitely big enough to carry all of your go-to needs that would normally be in your pockets, so that's really nice. So let's take a look at the main compartment now, and we're gonna take a look at this double zipper design right here. Now what this double zipper design allows you to do is get a really wide opening on the side that you unzip from. So if we unzip from this side over here, you'll see that on the side with the two zippers now, it opens kind of normally. But on the side with no zippers, it opens up super, super wide. So you can access anything that's in here that's a larger item. This is really great because the regular sling as well as the sling mini, the main compartment, the larger compartment is a little bit awkward to access. It has a bunch of space, but you can't really use that space to the fullest sometimes because it's kind of harder to get larger items out of the bag. With this bag, you can definitely put a bunch of stuff in here and easily access it. Currently, the only thing in here is the Bellroy Folio Mini. I am currently making a review of this as well, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when that review comes out. Let's put that to the side for a second. 
so you can take a look at just how massive the main compartment of this bag is. It's really nice. There's a small little sleeve right here. You can put something like a battery bank in here and that would keep it nice and separate from everything else. There is also a zippered compartment back here. This is great for things like sunglasses and that sort of thing. Unlike the regular Bellroy Sling and the Sling Mini, it is not a lined pocket, so there's no felt lining. Um, but I'm sure your sunglasses will be fine inside of there anyways. Now for me, this bag has been really nice uh, for when I wanna go out and take some photos because there's tons and tons of room in here. So I've got my A7C right here that easily, easily fits inside of here. I've got a second lens that I like to carry with me sometimes. This is a nice portrait lens that fits in there. And there is still tons and tons of space. So we'll put that wallet back in there as well. I've also got a pair of headphones. We're gonna throw that in there as well. And you can see, even with all that stuff in there, it easily zips up and it's really nice. And it's super quick and easy to get your stuff out. Unzip, grab your gear, and zip back up. Now this is a lot to carry in this bag. I wouldn't normally carry this much, but I just wanted you guys to see just how much stuff you can fit inside of the sling. It's really nice. Even with all of this stuff inside of the sling, it's still really comfortable to carry and it feels great to wear. So as you can see, even with all of this gear inside of the sling, it still fits really nicely on me and I'm a pretty small person. I'm like 5'2", so if this bag looks good on me, it'll definitely look good on you if you're a little bit taller. It looks great whether you're wearing it in the front or the back and it's been really comfortable even on the days when I've been carrying my camera gear for multiple hours. So overall, I really enjoyed using the Bellroy Light Sling. I really hope they make a mini version of this because to be honest, personally, I prefer to have a smaller sling for when I don't need to carry very much and on the days when I need to carry a little bit more, I'm more of a backpack guy. But if you are a fan of the standard size Bellroy Sling, I would definitely take a look at the light sling. It is not only a little bit more durable, not only lighter, more sustainable, but it's actually cheaper as well. This bag is significantly less expensive than the regular Bellroy sling. And it looks great no matter what you are wearing. That's all for me guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button once again if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.